Russian forces continue to move closer to the city of Kiev and at launching a deadly attack to the far west less than 20 miles from where we join Jay Gray this morning as he continues to cover the war and the growing humanitarian crisis along the Poland-Ukraine border. Jay, good morning. Hey, good morning, Maureen. We're inside the Przemysl train station. You can see uh, refugees continuing to pour through here in waves, waiting in line for a ticket to a train. Where it takes them, though, has become a bigger issue here because as so many are moving in, it's getting harder and harder to find a place to stay, even here in Poland. Russia stepping up its attack over the weekend. Tanks shelling this apartment complex in the port city of Mariupol. Missiles ripping apart this military base less than 15 miles from the Polish border, killing 35, wounding more than 100 as the Kremlin looks to block the flow of weapons from the West. Russian troops also closing in on Kiev. Award-winning journalist Brent Renault killed during heavy fighting in the suburb of Irpin. A colleague who was injured says they were shot by Russian soldiers despite identifying themselves as press. We crossed a checkpoint and they start shooting at us. Um, so the driver turned around and they kept shooting. That violence pushing more families from their homes, more than two and a half million escaping, most traveling to Poland. Mayors in the country's two largest cities, Warsaw and Krakow, now warning they're running out of space and saying more arrivals could affect, quote, the functioning of the cities. Adding to the struggle of so many who now must find a place to stay, even further from the place they call home. Yeah, and you have to understand that many of these families have left a loved one behind to fight, and so it is very difficult, Maureen, for them to uh, move that far from the border. It's turning into quite the issue. Yeah. Jay, most importantly, be safe as we hear that the fighting gets closer and closer to Poland. Thank you so much for all the reporting that you're doing. Thanks.